Hello and welcome back to the Linux Panic YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be looking at installing the Heroic Games Launcher on Linux and the various other ways that you can install it. But before we get into the video, I would like to thank my channel members uh, Von Garden, Kingcraft Oda de Faratup, and Mislav for being members of the channel, where you, you can also be like them. Support me for as little as $2.99 a month and get early access to videos such as this one right here anyway let's get into the video now if you remember if you're a long-term viewer of the channel you would know that i've already made a video on heroic games launcher and you would be right i have but as of and it's been a while since i've last made a video on it but as of recently i have noticed uh, more people uh, saying they have issues with lutris as well as some issues with Heroic, and I just want to give Heroic uh, another shot and say, hey, look, this is how you do it. And there are various others, other ways. And I'm also installing it raw on my own system. So you can see what it actually be like to install on your own system. Now, before we get into it, I'd just like to show. Uh, let's do a new window. Uh, this is what I currently have. Uh, this is my system in particular. So just let's try that again. Right, again, so what we have here is we have a Debian 11 system. Yes, I know Debian 11 still. Uh, just general specs of the system, and this is what you can sort of expect when you're doing your own. I have just realized that's got dark. That mono does not. I need to figure that one out. I think it's the television causing it. I don't know why it does that. Anyway, into the installing part now. There's two ways of going about installing the Heroic Games Launcher. There's either the GitHub or the website. Uh, looking at the website, it, you get flashbang. Oh, ow, my eyes. Uh, there's a download section, which can give you the options. It's either Flatpak, the app image, or others. The others being the RPMs, the debs, and the tar files. Which, of course, it feeds you <laughs> straight through to here anyway. So we will carry on from the GitHub. Now, with the GitHub, there are various ways to install and run it now it does show off the available supported platforms it being ubuntu 22 or newer fedora 33 or newer arch linux and derivatives uh, such as majorga reader and endeavor as well as steam os using desktop only i don't have steam os so i don't know uh, windows 10 and 11 because they even do that as well as mac os 12. Uh, what's annoying about mac os is i can't install uh iMovie on my MacBook. So I would avoid, any, avoid anything Mac OS. So, installation options for Linux you've got your flat pack choices, Debian, Ubuntu, and, deriv and derivatives. Um, that doesn't quite match what they put there, but in this case, we're just going to be looking at a Debian, Ubuntu, and derivatives, as well as Arch for the AUR. Um, I don't know why it's not for anything found there. Fedora options, as well as binary releases, as well as app images and dot .tars. So if you just want to run it portable, I suppose you could say. As well as installs and instructions for WinGet, manual installs for Windows, as well as macOS. But we're not touching macOS or Windows. We're just doing uh, Ubuntu derivatives. I said we're doing Ubuntu or De Debian de derivatives and wonderful so we have a choice of it's gonna everything that is on their website or on the github is going to send you to the down to the uh, releases page irregardless which i suppose makes sense once we're here it's just going to give you some updates it's just saying issues for amazon games so that's new last time i used heroic uh there was not amazon games there which is always good uh Good old games uninstalled is finished before updating the state. Just some general fixes, full change log, which looks very nice. As well as the full installed, the installer stuff, which is very nice. But in this case, I would just want the Heroic 2.9.2 AMD 64.deb. If I wanted to, I could build it from source, but I don't want to, so we won't. And now that we've done that, we're going to want a new tab. And let's just do a quick effect, make sure that looks fine. It does. So 
we need to seed into downloads and look for the heroic launcher so as we can see here there's linux xp heroic so as it recommends it is just a not sudo dnf it is dpkg hyphen i so sudo dpkg hyphen i so install not uninstall uh, the I, if you wanted to uninstall it would be u but in this case we just want i and then heroic and then in my case because i don't have any other versions i could just hit tab once i've typed her did the password when it asks for it i just have to think about that. did i put the password in correctly i did because it's working so what this is doing is it's getting everything it needs and then allegedly allegedly it is there but i say allegedly because it's not now here's the thing it's either double click to open it in software manager or run to install directly however it's not there so we are going to uh, that Okay, it is there. It's just, it didn't want to, hmm, thanks. And that's not my primary monitor. So for the first time around, if I can get a hold of the window properly, it's going to do something like this. And what I can say is the Amazon login section is a new feature of the Horror Games launcher, which, if you ask me, is very nice. So you've got, it's becoming a better it's attempting to be a better version of luchas but with less in it at the minute but you've got your epic games you've got your alternate method which is requiring your account sid as well as goj login and amazon login so if you had games through amazon luna or just amazon games but in this case uh, i wish to just log in uh, with my sid code so what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab that because i know i have that saved in one of my emails is it here is it this one uh yes it is so what i first need to do is i need to move that to there so i don't accidentally show you my account id so you, you then can't steal uh my stuff ah so this authorization code isn't actually legitimate anymore so let's take you through the process so open link and drop it there and it's going to take you to the sign-in section, which is going to quickly sign in. Uh, I'm just going to drop that there whilst I sign into it. So here is the email. And here is the password. Is that the correct password? No, it is not. I've got to remember, them. I've got to remember my password now. Ooh, can't remember my password. Um, that is a good point. It would help if I could be able to remember my own password, wouldn't it? Okay, so let's try this again. Huh. Oh, yeah, so, okay. There we go. Um, send verification code to the Authenticator app. Yes, please. Let's hope I have this set on Authy. I do. Right, so. And continue. So I do have this set. So what this is going to do is it's going to, once you've logged in with the alternate method, uh, it is going to redirect you to your client ID and it's going to give you an author authorization code. Now, I'm not going to show that because it's going to be uh, my one and it's going to link through to me. So, no. However, you just click copy link and it feeds you through. We're just going to quickly move that there, drop that in. And what we have now is this. The account name's old, don't worry about it. But now that we have an account sorted out, we go to the library. And what this is now going to do is just populate the game library and show you everything that's there. Now, in my case, I have a rather wide-ranging uh, library. 
and what we can do is instead of show hidden refresh we've got choices of list layout uh, alphabetical order as well as status so because there's no statuses it's not going to change anything there's nothing marked as a favorite because i haven't done that again hide non-available games as well as show hidden and just a library refresh and that'll just give a quick a quick refresh of the library so what we will do is we'll just quickly install a small game such as the escapist and we have choices of do we wish to use default wine settings or do we want to change the wine prefix now because this only has i've only got wine 8.16 for this installed it's only going to see wine 8.16 so it's going to get and start uh, downloading and installed as we can see here it's yay for good internet it's going to show everything off and then for the options here going to go it's going to ask what, what are our wine path what do we want for help and just in general uh other information as well as alternate uh exes changing a show that we can show fps if we wanted to um as well as some other things but we'll just show fps we're not going to touch fsr and what we're going to do is tell it to run now bearing in mind what i have just shown you has taken mere seconds and also a very nice internet speed now for example if i wanted to play hitman world of assassination i could do that i have played hitman world of assassination on epic games for the heroic launcher before as well as anno 1800 if you are a fan of the Linus Tech Tips, te uh, Linus Tech Tips channel on YouTube. Uh, you will also know that Mr. Sebastiano is a big fan of uh, Anno 1800, as am I. I was actually a fan of Anno 1800 before I knew Linus was. So, yeah, it's a good game. But, just got to wait for this to catch up. Bearing in mind the escape is an old game and I haven't played it in years. So... I can't tell you the state of the game. However, I imagine it's not supposed to crash. Wonderful. This is why we do things live. This is why we do things the way we do. So we'll take F FTL for example. I know for a fact that FTL is going to work. Because I played FTL on Linux before. And I know it will work. So just again buff it in this is gonna say hey look prefix and what this will do is it'll create a new wine prefix for every single game so it just like keeps them separate and also running and just so you don't have any issues if you have issues with one game you shouldn't in theory have issues with another game now again you can also access the as example here we go this is a working one, yes, but it works. Considering the age of the game, it's pretty damn good, but it works. You can scroll through your library, you can see what you've got. Um, some of these are games that I've got for free, some of them I've paid for, let's not find out which ones. But you can also have a look at the storefront and get your free games as well. Now, it's not going to show as you're logged in because it needs to catch up with the uh, fact that you are logged in. Um, but... You can actually have a look at the storefront and see what's there uh, for Epic Games as well as Prime Gaming. I'm not logged in. I know it's gonna throw a hissy fit. Uh, we don't. We don't want to touch anything that's got to do with Daddy Bezos. I mean, Mr. Penis Rocket Man. I mean, Jeff Bezos. But you can again. You can see what's currently free. You can go from there and log in if you wanted to. Um, is that supposed to be Idris Elba for Cyberpunk? It is supposed to be Idris Elba for Cyberpunk. Well, there we go. But, yeah, this is how you go through and actually install and get running uh, the Hero Games Launcher, as we've seen. Uh, it is actually possible to get a game from clicking the link or starting with GitHub to actually in game in less than 15 minutes because that's how long it's taken to get to this point. And I'll just quickly show you how you uninstall a game. You can just right click and go bada bing. No, you can either you can keep the prefixes and logs or you can just get rid of them in my case. No thanks, go away. And again, same for escapist. No, I don't want to keep them. Yes, yes, go away. Simple. How easy was that? 
but yeah, it's like I, I, I like things that are that easy, and it's if you ask me, it's even easier to use the heroic launcher than it is to use Epic Raw on Windows, and that's saying something. But anyway, I would like to thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you disliked the video, hit the dislike button. Uh, don't forget to consider subscribing and also ring the notification bell once you're down there. Remember, when you use Linux, don't panic. I have been Nick, you have been amazing, and I hope you have a good day, good evening, good night, good whatever it is, wherever you are, and goodbye.